Are you ready to light it up? We are taking interactive cards to the next light level. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be making a light up card and I thought this was going to be difficult, but it's actually not. So I'm going to share some tips with you that I've learned along the way. This particular light has three lights on the one battery. So I wanted to create a card that used all three lights. So I did plan this out a little bit in advance, but not a lot. And I thought it'd be really fun to use these jellyfish and light them up. So what I did was create a panel to go on the front of my card with some peacock cardstock. And I want to create the jellyfish panel to be exactly the same, but sit behind it and be made out of vellum. And I decided to do some heat embossing with some white embossing powder. And by stamping with the misty each time, so I stamped the panel, then I stamped the vellum, then I stamped the panel, then the vellum, I knew that the three images were going to be in the same place. Another way that you could do this is just stamp your three jellyfish and then cut them out and just adhere them behind the panel. That would work just as well too. And then I could just go ahead and die cut all of my jellyfish out. And I've got my three windows ready to go, ready to be lit up with this <laughs> monstrosity. I now have to try and figure how I'm going to attach all this. Actually, this is the hardest part of the whole thing. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> I'm still trying to make it fit. This battery, and there was no only it. And then I actually looked at it. Guess what? It's not as hard as it looks. <laughs> and this set of lights actually has a little button. So it's a, a red button and they stay lit up if you push the button. You don't have to be pressing it to keep the light on. So I thought that was a really fun element. The battery is quite big, so I did leave a space purposefully in the bottom right corner of this panel. And now I'm just marking out where the heads of the jellyfish are and where the edge of the card panel is so that I know that my lights are gonna be in the right spot and that my battery is also going to be hidden behind the panel that I created. I did decide to come in and add some color with some Copic markers behind the vellum. So Copic markers aren't really friendly when it comes to coloring actually on embossing powder, so add your color behind. Then I wanted to add some white splatters to the card panel and I did sit that aside to try and dry it, but I couldn't wait. I just had to get this card made, so you'll watch me fighting with that a little bit later on. This battery comes with some adhesive behind it, but obviously you could just use double-sided tape if you didn't have that with your particular brand of battery. And here was my, probably the biggest dilemma, even though it actually didn't work out as hard as I thought it would. Because I had the three images and the dark panel of cardstock, what I needed to do was hide my wiring behind the panel of cardstock where it was going to sit, but make sure that my lights were going to be visible at the head of each of the jellyfish. So I did use some strong tape to hold that in place. And because these lot wires are quite thick, I did choose some dark cardstock because I didn't want them to be visible through there. I've added the word press because I have a little stamp that says that. And otherwise, I have seen people just write the word press. That would work as well, and especially if you had a white pen and you waited for things to dry. That would make things much easier than tiptoeing around the back of a panel <laughs> with wet white paint on it. But anyway, it all pretty much was okay. I probably smudged a couple of my dots, but I'm not worried. I just wanted to get this card made. And behind the panel... I did double up the foam tape. I added the word cool. This is from the Stay Cool set. And how cool is this? <laughs> and I love that I can actually press the button and leave the lights on. It looks the bit in the dark. It just looks unreal. And you can't see the colors of the Copics in the video, but I promise you in real life, it's they, they're very visible and it's such a great fun technique I've had. So much fun making this card. I hope you've enjoyed it too. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? It's totally free. And I'm going to be back with more inspiration real soon. Till then, here's two more videos for you to enjoy. Happy paper crafting.
Bye.